Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week I wanted to do some charcoal sketching, some charcoal drawing. Um, and you can see the materials I'm going to use on screen. It's just some willow charcoal, charcoal pencil and a small sketchbook. But it's not going to be landscape sketching, which is what I usually do on YouTube. Instead, this is going to be a sort of figure drawing or figure sketching, drawing people. Uh, in my own sort of style and um, it's like I said it's not something I do very often on YouTube but in real life it is something that happens quite a bit in the background I do a lot of these sort of sketches I would describe the sketches as being in the vein of realism um, so realism is something I wanted to talk about in this video um, and sort of define what it means compared to naturalism. I think there, there's some confusion around what realism and naturalism mean, and they can be quite confusing terms. I also wanted to talk about one of my favorite artists. Her name is Helen Scherfbeck. I know I'm mispronouncing that. It's a Finnish name, and the Finnish language is quite, pronunciation is quite tricky for me anyway. Um, two of her paintings on screen, the one on the left is one of her er, uh, early paintings and you can see it's done in a naturalistic way. And then the middle painting is quite different. It looks almost as if it was done by a different artist, but it was the same artist as still uh, Helen Schaefbeck. It's one of her later paintings and you can see she changed from being a naturalistic painter to being a more expressive modern painter. And that's one of the things that interests me about her painting. Um, for me, the whole expressive modern art sort of style of painting is really the one, the style that I like and the, the approach to art that I like. I'm less of a fan of the naturalistic approach to art. The painting on the right is a Van Gogh painting. I am including that because that is an example of realism. Again, you could say Van Gogh style, it's not realistic, but that's not, realism has a very special meaning in art, a very specific meaning. Realism is nothing to do with the way the paint is applied onto the canvas. It has nothing to do with technique or style. It's purely about the subject matter. So in the case of Van Gogh painting, he was painting a peasant woman working in the field, that's realism. So realism is all about portraying real people doing real things. So no, no Greek goddesses, no figures from Greek or Roman mythology, no aristocrats or monarchs or religious figures, just ordinary people. That's realism. And it's something that I like very much. So when I say these sketches I do are in the vein of realism, that's what I mean. It's it's about the subject matter, not my style of drawing, which is absolutely not um, a naturalistic way of drawing or painting. I say with naturalism, it is all about the technique. It is all about creating something that resembles how our eyes see the world. This artist, Helen uh, Scherfbeck, she was a bit of a child prodigy. She went to art school when she was 11 years old. When she was a, later on as a teenager, a young woman, she got a grant from uh, the Finnish government, which enabled her to travel around Europe. And she spent time in a number of different countries looking at art, going to museums and things. And then she spent quite a bit of time in France and also in England. So she was, she certainly knew about the sort of art that was around in the latter part of the 19th century in France. And that would have been, of course, Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. And maybe that had some influence on her changing her style from that sort of older naturalistic way of painting towards this modern, more expressive way of painting. Anyway, she's a very interesting artist and 
I think her portraits and things are, are amazing. Well worth checking out, I think, if you've never come across her. In terms of this practicing drawing, I used to try and draw, if I was copying an image by another artist, for example, the one on the left is a copy of a self-portrait by Helen Scherfbeck. I would have tried to do it in their style. And I find that very, quite frustrating because drawing in someone else's style or painting in someone else's style is actually, for me anyway, it's very, very difficult. I really struggle with it. I know some people are really good at it and they can paint in the style of Van Gogh or Rembrandt or whatever, and it looks quite good. I just can't do that. So I say it was a very frustrating experience and therefore quite a negative thing. I always think that when you're practicing art, it should be fun, not a negative or frustrating. So I just, I gave up trying to copy other people's style. And instead I was just inspired by their drawings or paintings. And I just do it in my own style. Um, so that's my approach these days. So while I was inspired by uh, Helen's portraits, I don't actually try to copy them in the sense of doing them in the way that she did them, um, if that makes sense. Anyway, as I say, I, I really enjoy doing these sort of sketches. Um, maybe it's something that I'll include more in the future on YouTube. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, hopefully my attempts at explaining naturalism and realism make sense. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in next week's video.